All right, Eddie, what do we got here? We got ourselves some motors. I got five performance motors out of a Tesla Model S. And I'm gonna show you guys today how to tell the difference between a performance motor and a non-performance motor. We get asked all the time about Tesla motors, what the differences are between like base models and like a ludicrous model. There really isn't much when you first look at a motor and we got five of them sitting in front of me right now that just came in from one of ours as mailers. Uh, basically the motors and the gearboxes are identical. What we're looking at the differences is behind this side. So if you look at these motors, on one side there's the motor, on the other side there's not another motor, it's called the inverter. And that's the only difference between what we call a base and a sport model. Those two are basically your bases are the non-performance ones. Like they're not the ludicrous. They're not all these like fun little names that Tesla like to throw out. But what we found after dismantling these motors is everything from here to this side, it's identical. And on the other side is what we're going to show you today is the inverter. This is the brains behind the motor. That's what makes it actually go. It takes DC power, converts it to AC. Let me go ahead and take this lid off. And that is what makes this thing go. This is the inverter. Now what I have here is an inverter out of a base model. You'll see that most of the boards in here are green. These boards are red. Red, spicy, what? more power. That's a spicy meatball. That's what makes them go fast. Actually, there's a lot more to it than that, but that's the way to, to kind of look at them and know what you're dealing with if you ever take the inverter covers off. Also a good indicator to know what you're looking at when you're buying these motors is there should be a sticker on it. Under, like underneath the bottom of the serial number, you'll see something called sport. Sport means they are the performance and that's the way you differentiate these two types of motors. We'll catch you guys next time.